As far as I know, these are the biggest birdhouses in the world. I've never seen one bigger than mine. This one here, it has 103 rooms in it, 32 dormers. There is no world record yet, but I plan on making one. With the amount of birds I have here every day, it's just crazy. When you stand across the street, that's all you hear is this bird buzz. It gets very loud some days. The neighbors mentioned it to me anyway. I am John Lucer. I live in Belgrave, Ontario. Uh, it's about two hours west of Toronto. I've built uh, over 5,000 bird houses in the last 20 years, more than I ever expected to ever build. I just love building things. It doesn't matter if it's a bird house or whatever it is. This one, uh, the wood is about 130 years old, has a rooftop pool on it. A lot of people really like this one because of the style of it. Uh, this is one took me the longest so far, two and a half years to build this one. I started building since I was probably four or five years old. I, my father was a carpenter, so I grew up with a wood shop. That's all I've ever done is woodworking. By 14, I was working full-time building houses for other framing crews. I did that for 25 years. This house here is one I'm working on right now. It's uh, a copy of my house, actually. I'm going to put glass windows in this and then put a light in it and then put out by the road so people can see it lit up. I was forced to retire at an early age due to chronic pain, fibromyalgia. It's just nonstop pain. Uh, you ache all the time. You can't relax very long. I find the best way to deal with fibromyalgia is just keep moving all the time. Keep your mind focused on something else other than the pain. I had to do something with my time and, and I had lots of experience with houses, so I had to put it somewhere. That's when I started building bird houses. This house here is actually one of the very first ones I built. The wood itself is 120 years old, has a carport. The reason I, I started building them huge in the first place is I was living on a farm and I had built a small one about two feet square. And by the time I put it up and went back in the house, it just kind of looked like a dot. So I thought I got to build them bigger. And once I started building them bigger, I noticed cars were stopping more and more every day and they start taking pictures and stuff like that. So I just thought, the bigger the house is, the better. And then we got this big one here. It's um, nine feet wide, nine feet tall, weighs 500 pounds. It has a double pool on the roof. I built two of these. Uh, it took me three weeks to build two of them. A little quicker when you're building two at once. As far as uh, my birdhouse designs, they're just off the top of my head. Most of the time when I start building them, they just I just start laying the sticks and that's the way they turn out. I also watch the birds. I've learned that they like water, so I built a pool on top of a lot of the houses, so they have rooftop pools. They love that. First thing I do is I draw it out on a piece of plywood. A lot of it's done the same way as a regular house, so you, you start with a layout, and then what I do is the first row, I, I tack that row down, it keeps everything square and then I just start building up from there. Do the roof usually out of two by two material. So it's very strong, built like a real house basically. And then I use uh, barn steel for the roofing. The first couple of years, that's all I did was use barn wood. It was cheap, easy to get and easy to work with. The only thing with ripping barn wood is you gotta watch for nails, especially because it really messes up your blades and stuff like that. The prices range anywhere from 100 up to 4,000 so far for a nine foot bird house. I did one for Potsy from Happy Days. I built one for Candy Clark from American Graffiti. She's a big fan of my work. I've had a couple people drive here from the States and pick up 10 houses at a time, that kind of thing, yeah. These little smaller houses, these ones are basically for people to have small yards, backyards. It won't block anybody's sat satellite signal or anyway, so. The smallest houses I build weigh about 10 pounds. The largest one so far is about 500 pounds. What I usually do is take them to the city dump and get them weighed there. The small ones, you can use like a couple guys to lift them up, but the big ones, uh, either a, a tractor, a farm tractor, or a forklift. This one here, the wood is about 170 years old. This is the, the biggest one I've done as far as um, weight, size. It has 103 rooms in it. it, has 32 dormers. Each room is divided with um, removable insides. Basically, uh, I got the idea from an old case of beer with the dividers where they just interlock. It's kind of like a honeycomb inside look. I've had birds move into them or try to move into them as I'm building them. Uh, I go to cut a piece of wood and the bird come flying out of the hole. So they're already checking it out before I'm even done. 
In the last couple years, I've had a lot more health issues with my pain that I have. So I'm trying to slowly cut down the, the work that, that I was doing and, and spend more time uh, with my kids and grandkids. I get about three to 4,000 people here every year. I get visitors usually every day that stop in and look through my yard. Doesn't matter what time of day, it could be even near nighttime, they, they're out there with flashlights even. It's crazy to see how much they love what I do. And I think the birds love what I do also. My extreme bird houses are the coolest thing I've ever made.